Hi, it's Maxine again. The more I do these, the more awkward I get, but I guess that's a good thing because I'm just naturally awkward and autistic and tends to go hand in hand. And <laughs> it just means maybe I'm more comfortable, but it, <laughs> well, for example, like when I just started, I only took one other take and I said, hi, it's Maxine. And my mouth felt, felt dry and I like stuck my tongue out. Lately my tongue's like white all the time. If someone can please help me, I feel like I'm terminally ill or something because I don't know, like I haven't even been using the bleaching toothpaste lately and I thought maybe that was the reason. I thought maybe the bleach in the toothpaste was like bleaching my tongue as well, but it's been a while and it's still white and I know that's not a good sign of something I forget but anyway uh today I wanted to do something different I wanted to just read a few of my like Facebook rants in the past um about autism specifically because I haven't really said much about that yet and I can still just feel like I can imagine some people saying oh you don't have it like even I don't know, it might be very obvious to some and then others might say, like, there's no way because, you know, it is such a spectrum and even if I'm considered high functioning, <laughs> I laugh at that because um, I've just struggled in so many avenues that I don't feel like high functioning. Like, if there, I think there's like three levels and I think I'm like a... 1.2 or a 3 point <laughs> my dog's doing something that <laughs> distracted me anyway I felt like I was kind of right almost in the middle of like the three like I definitely I think I suffer a lot more than some and but I'm I know I'm not I'm very thankful to not be like very dependent like when it comes to um just being able to live everyday life. I mean, I'm very dependent right now financially because I'm not working. Whew. I do need to get back to work and I am going to do it. It's just that I've been in this whole like limbo of um, actually getting like formally diagnosed and oh, my skin's been breaking out lately, but yeah, um, but it's official. I have my diagnosis, like, for my, you know, autism, ADHD, CPTSD, and that, and a few other things. And then, like, well, I'll just name the other things. Like, it's, um, they said OCD, but we never even, maybe there's things that are OCD that I don't even know that I'm doing, and so that was included, but I, I mean, I know there's some things I do, but that was included. And then, uh, anxiety, depressive disorder, and that was it. So I will talk about BPD someday because in the past doctors like repeatedly asked me, asked me when I first reached out for help, like, do you have special interests? And I kept going no, like, because I just had really low self-esteem. I thought that special interests were, like, the people who excel in school and or athletes or could just tell you the inside outs of a certain subject. And that is true for some autistic people, but that's not true for everybody. And so my special interests are, like, actually collections, like I mentioned before, but... I want to name more of them because there's so many and I hardly named any of them. Anyway, so collections. I used to have a ton of magnets. I still do to a degree. The pennies, um, candles. Lately, it's like the rock collection turning into jewelry. Um, I used to have and still do, but I used to have a lot more, but tons and tons of books that I never even got around to reading. I just, just like I'm a collector <laughs> and I used to when I was younger I used to collect like movie stubs and concert tickets and 
I kind of wish I had kept them, but I felt like a lot of my collections were just sitting in bags, not really being used. And, um, what was the other? Oh, like, like, um, some patches, but like, you know, concert. I can't even think of the word right now, like pins or the buttons. I guess it's called pins. And, uh, like lots of clothing. And I used to have so much clothing that I could never even wore because a lot of the time it was like, oh, when I lose more weight, I'll wear this. And that would never happen. But now I actually just have a lot of clothes that I do wear all the time, but still like, quite a lot. And, then there's still those select items that I don't fit yet. And what else? I used to have a lot more shoes, but not anymore. And I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but like tons of DVDs and CDs and but yeah, and then if I was actually going through them all, I could tell you more specific things and then I could go on a tangent about that for like <laughs> an hour at a time. <laughs> so there, ta-da! <laughs> I'm autistic. <laughs> but no, like I'm actually just going to read through some of the things like from childhood to now and there is like a little bit of maybe anger and hostility in the posts. I'm not I'll see. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's just been a whole... <laughs> I want to say cluster F. <laughs> it's just been... In the beginning, it was really kind of shocking because it was like, why had this not really been mentioned to me? But I think I just flew under the radar. Like, I was tested and then I just got by and... Like, I actually do have some dyslexia, too, and that was just overlooked somehow. Um, like, when I write a sentence, sometimes I'm writing another letter before the other letter. Like, if I'm putting there, I'm going H and T and then E-R-E. -E, like, or there's so many, like, and <laughs> I didn't know how. Well, like, can you imagine if you do that, it prolongs everything. Like, when you're taking tests and writing exams and stuff like if your if your brain is not putting the word in the right way then that takes longer to finish things but anyway so that was overlooked and oh shit what was I thinking about I remember what I was gonna say so when I had like my first cashier job and I was reading the numbers like when I was reading the total to people I'm like <laughs> it's 39.50 or something like that but it was really like 93.50 or something or I think it was more completely backwards like the cent number but some people kind of like laugh it off with me and then others were like um like what the hell's wrong with you but I haven't been formally diagnosed with dyslexia but I guarantee that I have mild dyslexia because I mean isn't that classic textbook dyslexia when you're like reading or writing or saying numbers backwards <laughs> so it's like hmm no wonder I strung struggled in math and everything else <laughs> uh I know I didn't apply myself to math specifically like I hated it but um yeah <laughs> I just find that comical like I it, sometimes it's funny and then sometimes it makes me really sad and it just makes me think that like nobody cared at all like really and I guess like when you have two parents who aren't advocating for you and they're not doing what parents should be doing then of course these things are going to get overlooked like there's only really so much teachers can do and educators and mm. But, um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, 
That feels like a weight on my chest because it's just like if I'm talking about school, that's like a huge trigger. Like talking about elementary school especially was the absolute worst and that'll have to be a video for another day because today I want to talk about autism. So, oh, I'm going to get logged into my computer and one moment. Let's see if that stays put. I thought this is a little better than the downward view of all this right now. So, okay, so here's something I wrote. I think this was like the very first time I expressed. Let's see. I'm going to go back a little further. I think this was the very first time I mentioned to really everyone on my Facebook. At the time, I had a lot more people and I've removed almost everybody since then. But, um,. Yeah, this is the first time I opened up about being autistic and and before I read it, I just want to say that like I it, I felt like it was really ignored and brushed off by people. Like I didn't really get the support that I thought I would get from some people, like people who I've spent years of my life with and I guess they just didn't believe it or maybe they just because people just don't really understand I mean even for myself I really didn't even know what autism was until maybe like five years ago or less like I my understanding of autism was only that like really what the general public knows like I thought it was the kid who's the most disruptive and like or nonverbal or um, like, <laughs> if I do look back and really think it's like, well, yeah, I, I was obviously, but I just didn't know, like, it wasn't as extreme as it, when I was a child, because I don't know if it's gender based, like being a female or this is getting crooked, but anyway, I just really had no clue and no one ever told me that I was. I mean, people were making subtle comments about not making, maintaining eye contact and things like that, but that was really the only indicator and, well, no, there was tons and people would make fun of me and stuff, but anyway, all I'm saying is that, um, pause for my brain to catch up oh here's like not cooperating but anyway um uh, I'll just start by reading this and then I'm sure I'm gonna pause 50 times <laughs> I hear my dog sighing in the background like <laughs> how I think like groaning like how I'm thinking some of the people who are gonna watch these are gonna react but <laughs> uh anyway um so I put autism was not commonly diagnosed in girls when I was young. Also, girls tend to display different signs than boys. So many women like me had all the signs when we were children, outgrew some of them and now struggle even worse today in other ways, especially from years of being bullied, invalidated, gaslighted, taking advantage of and having to mask, which is incredibly draining. Honestly, I'm lucky to, well, I guess <laughs> this is probably why some people didn't say anything because it was like a little hostile, but um, I said, on, honestly, I'm lucky to be alive today with all the bullying bullshit I've endured and survived just for being a human with autism. In school, not just by peers, but also educators in the workplace, coworkers, with clients, patients, customers, sadly at home as well, and by many so called friends I've had along the way. As we are now getting older, I hope your children or future children with autism or illnesses, diseases, disabilities don't suffer or struggle in the same way so many of us have by not having proper knowledge, education, and understanding of autism, ADHD, and other neurodivergent diagnoses the way we do today. I accept this part of me, but with that comes a lot of anger and sadness for the innocent child I once was who wanted what everyone else wanted to be happy, loved, taken care of, understood, accepted for who they are. Everyone is deserving of these things regardless of ability or d disability. On that note, 
the world is not all that bad. There are plenty of awesome humans who are kind, don't discriminate, and are raising children to be empathetic, loving, caring people. So yes, it kind of goes from when to, like the ending kind of just seems like a trying to smooth over, but I, I just do feel like that, like, and I do know that there are a lot of awesome people out there too. And anyway, I included in the post, um, let's see. First, I want to start by quickly saying, I don't know what the heck is going on with my iPhone, but I used to have 9,000 photos and videos of years and years of just accumulating and I've been slowly, slowly deleting them. Now I'm down to 2,000 photos and videos. And still, when as I'm doing these videos with you, um, I'm like running out of room. Like, someone please explain. Like, I know videos definitely take a lot more room, but like 9,000 versus... I guess maybe that does make sense when you're taking like <laughs> super long videos. But I just deleted all the videos and still like I know I have like 50 minutes worth of <laughs> talking but oh anyway I just deleted some more apps to hope and then I increased my iCloud pay by paying more but that doesn't help the situation with the phone so if anyone has tips if you can put it down below I'd greatly appreciate that but so I'll try to get quickly through this today so I included a few, um, like, info about what it's like for, like, girls with autism specifically. I don't want to read one because I don't really want to get in trouble. I mean, maybe if I include the source, then I can do that. I don't know. Maybe I'm better off not reading it for now. I just don't want to get accused of, like, copyright or something but anyway so out of all the friends I had on there like I still had very few maybe like just under 200 but out 